The Avengers, 3D, short movie review. The Tesseract is being held by S.H.I.E.L.D. and tested on because it does appear to be a limitless source of energy and that could prove useful, but suddenly it seems to activate itself and it opens a portal. Not a big one, but big enough to let Loki through. And he promises to unleash an army from outer space to invade Earth. Nick Fury has no choice. Avengers Assemble. This movie is amazing. I'm gonna try to break down exactly why. It balances great, huge action with, you know, really compelling drama. Comedy, and you, you have these great interpersonal relationships and your know, personal conflicts. You know, Tony Stark is like feeling like, well, you know, I only ever undo my own bad as the good I do. You know, Thor is feeling bad because this is the second time that Loki, one of his people, is causing trouble on Earth. You know, they shouldn't, they shouldn't be responsible for that much. You know, Black Widow, she has a history. She wasn't always a good guy. You know, she's Russian. She, <laughs> that came out wrong. You know, Bruce Banner, <laughs> Green Rage Monster, yeah, that kind of would put a chip on your shoulder, wouldn't it? You know, and all of the major characters, including the S.H.I.E.L.D. Helicarrier, gets amazing entrances, you know, the, the introductions to each of them in the film are epic. The climactic battle is huge, and everyone gets to, you know, really make a difference in it. You know, all of the heroes get really big heroic moments as well, and some really, you know, near-death scenes, you know, very tense scenes where you're sure that, you know, they're, they're a goner. And of course, they don't start out uh, you know, being willing to work as a team. So, you know, over the course of the film, they grow into a team. But early on, there is infighting, and pretty much every, you know, one on one fight that you'd want to see in a movie that has these superheroes in it, you're gonna get to see. I mean, what you see in the trailer, that's just the previews for what you're gonna see. Literally. The effects are excellent. The humor is fantastic. I counted three times where the packed theater, watch this on opening night, roared with laughter. You know, and you have these really... The, the cast is great. Mark Ruffalo makes the character of Bruce Banner his own. He has this sort of... You can tell that he's carrying a lot of rage, but he's sort of, you know, non-confrontational and... You know, really anxious, so you, you can tell that he's like, you know, it's, don't want to let the green rage monster out. You know, and, you know, props goes to the, the the FX department. This Hulk actually looks like the actor playing Bruce Banner. The dialogue is pure gold. I, I am struggling to think of one line in this movie that is not quotable or memorable. And the banter between the team members is fantastic, you know. You have some of the Iron Man banter, but, you know, that's mostly between him and Pepper Potts, who, by the way, are an item now. And, you know, but, but with the rest of them, you still have some really funny lines and really sharp, you know, really great points about the different ones. And these, you know, different sort of, you know, the, the, the conflicts of all of them are really brought to a head, you know, all of them have something to, you know, overcome, and, yeah, you know, watch the film to find out if they do. Yeah, just an amazing film, lives up to the hype, you know, if you're at all a fan, if you're at all interested in watching this movie, then do so, you will not regret it. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, 
it'll be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.